I've had a lot of questions about how I created this animation in Calvary, so let's take a closer look. Starting off, I needed to find a way to slice up an image and place each slice into a duplicator. Thankfully, a member from the Discord community did the hard work of figuring that math out. I won't go into too much detail, but essentially there's a duplicate folder which has an, a rectangle filled with an image shader. Then there's some math to offset the X and Y positions, essentially syncing all of those values into a duplicator, which has a sort distribution into a grid and that maps each slice uh, accordingly. A lot of math and trickery have been done there, but essentially what we have now is that each rectangle within this duplicator is mapped to a slice of that image and we have full control. Another thing that's really cool about this setup is the fact that the count is flexible. So if I wanted to take this down to, let's just say four and four, here you can see now we have bigger pieces being chopped up. Alternatively, if I want to make this more like a particle system, I can go 50, 50. We have full control over editing the individual shape, position, rotation, scale, skew, etc. And what I've done here in this example is map the shape position to a random behavior. So if we double click into random, this is where the distortion effect happens. And you can play around with these values. You know, I can increase these, I can decrease these. Those are linked to a fall off, which is the big ellipse. So essentially it's telling it whenever this fall off is over a portion of the image, you know, do that behavior. And when it's off, go back to where it was. Looking at a couple other examples using this framework, I use this self-portrait one where, again, I have my image uh, in the background not being distorted and then the duplicator on top, which produces this pretty interesting glitch style effect. Yeah, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Thanks.